Hey and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about how do we sell print on demands on ClickFunnels and get those orders to your Shopify store. So if you look at my screen right now, it's the order and attributes which leaves a note from your customer to the seller. It goes directly to your Shopify store to the seller. Well, print on demand is customizing a product for your customers. So if they prefer a specific color, specific size, but more importantly is having a customized or personalized caption on your product so let me quickly show you what i mean so if a customer of yours is um, purchase a shirt from your store and what makes your store unique is that you can allow them to print in any caption or name on the shirt with the new function of funnelish you can now set up order notes and attributes to send directly to shopify when an order with a new purchase in Funnelish has been made, okay? So, from your Shopify, you will see that specific message or caption that the customer wants to be printed out on the order. It's right here, okay? This is a huge step for your business owner and so that you can focus more on your, com uh, on your customers and giving them the opportunity to write in their requests while never being bothered by fixing things up from the back end of Shopify, okay? So let me help you set that up right now for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to your dashboard. So for your dashboard, go to the funnels to the left and click on it. So by the way, this is, is um, I've already set up a click funnels funnel right here. If you haven't done that yet, um, you can view our previous videos or our tutorials on how to do that. Also, you need to have your Shopify account connected to Funnelish, okay? Now, just click on it. Now, let's go to the order form right here. And then just click on it just to make sure that you are there. So select the product that you're selling that you want your customers to leave a message to where we will enable it, the order and attributes function and click on it. From here, select the product that you're selling that you want your customers to leave a message where we will enable the order and attributes function. And click on it from our example let's do a uh, shirt okay all right so once you click on it just scroll to the very bottom until you see automations okay so from automations just click on create new automation right here and of course on select a trigger it's going to be on purchase because every time your customer selects or makes a purchase for your account click on save changes just click on Shopify since we're using the Shopify platform. Now, what's the action? The action is it's going to create an order. Okay. Select which product. Um, let's put an example. The blanket is a shirt. Okay. So now once you've selected blanket, by the way, this is linked with Shopify. So these are your products on Shopify. Okay. So just click on notes and attributes right here. Click on on enable sending custom notes and attribute okay just click on the knob and it automatically turns you off okay so what you do that this will allow you to send custom notes and attributes with each other or each order to shopify this will allow you to send custom notes and attributes with each order to shopify okay so just click on enable now type in the note this can be the custom type input, okay, and your funnel step. So what we're going to do is print name, okay, and then for add, just click on add new attribute. Let's do, um, let's say print, and then for the value, it's going to be the print name, all right? So the name is the attribute name, which the value will be stored on your Shopify order details, okay? Now, going back. The value is also the value name of your order on your order form from ClickFunnels because you're going to have your customer fill out the data for you. So that's going to recall it. Just click on done once you're done. Then just click on save changes at the bottom. Once it saves, just click on the save changes again on the bottom. And that's how easy it is. You're all set up. Now let me show you what happens if you do that. Now, um, let's put an example that a customer made a purchase on your uh, funnel 
and they type in like Wendell loves funnelish okay so if you go to the order so this is the new order for example it's order 1001 on the top right portion of your screen there's a note section and this is where it's gonna end up so this is what the customer wrote for you and from here this is definitely an edge for you as you will be able to focus more on your customer than handling things from the back end of Shopify it will also be a great connection from you and your customer to have their purchase personalized with ease right so feel free to customize it all right now so just in case that you have any questions feel free to visit our community for more updates about our products and you may reach us out to our website www.funnelish.com take care